and most women are consumed by that so they like it when they get compliments and it makes them feel better so I said right. to myself okay if I feel that I like something about someone I just go up and tell him you know and I just felt like I wanted to tell this lady she was beautiful but then afterwards I was like okay I feel a little awkward that wasn't really you know but she said no I, I know you mean it like that thank you so much that was a great you know and so I don't hold back on things like that and you kind of seem like you wouldn't either but I don't know if you I feel like I'm, hip, I'm hypocritical in this area because I, I don't like when people give me compliments, right. but I'll, I'll give them, you know what I'm You'll saying? So, I, I mean, I don't know. But do you think people take them to heart when you give them? Because you don't take other people, or you try not to take other people's to heart, so you, do you take their, do you think they take yours to heart? I don't know. I, th I think if I'm giving someone the compliment, and this, this applies to a lot of things, if I'm giving someone anything, right. it cannot have any bearing on, on how they receive it or whether or not they receive it. Right. You know, it's the same with money or compliments you know if I'm giving them a compliment to get them to like me or to get them to say thank you or to appreciate me oh yeah yeah that's not why you should give them though either you should yeah. just you know but I feel that you know women especially do take them to heart and it makes you feel good when someone you don't even know is coming up and saying oh you know that's really cute or oh I like that and so I just that's why that's I was true. I mean you should you should at least take compliments if you're not going to take them to heart you should at least take them in the fact or I believe you should at least take them in the fact that this person is being sincere to you. Yes, and you said and when it's a stranger, that does mean more, yeah. I have to admit. Then if, if a friend says it, it's kind of like, yeah, you're my friend. You, you have to say it, thanks, you're my friend. <laughs> but then you have some friends that, I mean, it's friendships that yeah. are complex relationships, you know, but with a stranger, they have nothing to gain, nothing to nothing lose. Nothing to lose, exactly. And so, I mean, at least you could, I mean, at least you can say, okay, well, this person means it in the most sincere way. They don't right. know me. Why would they randomly just come right. up and give me a compliment? So do you think beauty comes from the inside then? Since you said it on you, it comes from yourself. But do you think with other people, it comes from the inside? It comes from the outside combination? Yeah, I, I feel like if there's a time when, let's say, I'm not necessarily, I don't know, feeling my best, there are things that I can do to, to push me along, mm -hmm. I think. And number one is a shower or a bath or whatever. Right. Being clean, I don't know what the explanation is, has a big impact on just how I feel right. and how I look. Oh, you know? yeah. And after that, the, the hair or just, you know, if I do want to do makeup or whatever, for me, I think it's just the time spent on myself. Right. Well, just appreciating yourself. And saying, because that kind of also says you're worth it. You're, yeah. you know, you're spending time on yourself. You, you're going to this job, and then afterwards, you need to somehow refresh yourself. You know, and say, okay, by taking a shower and spending time on yourself, you're saying, okay, you did a good job. You know, yeah. and pam you know, or pampering yourself pampering. every now and again. And we all spend so much time on everybody else, and sometimes forget about ourselves. So those things can also make you feel beautiful. Yeah, definitely. But a lot of people think that beauty is on the outside, but they say that it comes from the inside. So how do you think they are connected? I mean, it's hard because you, we hear that a lot. Beauty is skin deep and, mm -hmm. and all these things. Well, especially in the media, they portray them. They portray beauty to be, like you said, a minute. I mean, it's a minute percentage of the population, but they, everyone tries to somehow live up to and what to the media keep, thinks. Move beauty. over to that, you know, try to become what's beautiful. And, and that's, and that's what I said about, you know, at the end, it's just a, a never ending quest. You know, you're, you're never going to get. You're never going to get there. No matter, <laughs> I mean, you can keep doing all kinds of things. And, but, but then in those cases, when you're trying so hard on the outside to get to that point, something's eating you alive on the inside. Yeah, yeah. And until I think those two things balance, you're never going to feel beautiful. I mean, if one is out of portion with the other, then something's going to always be off with you. I mean, even you could be the most beautiful person on the outside, but if you're dead on the inside, then you're not going to feel beautiful. And I really like how you say, my perception is my reality. Because that's exactly true. You can, you can try and please others by being beautiful in their eyes, but if you're not beautiful in your eyes, you're... Right. I mean, where does that leave you? And I saw a statistic recently, and uh, I can't remember where it was, and I, the number could be a little off, but it was around 81% of women 
of American women viewed themselves as unattractive. So, yeah, it was, it was on a web, I think it was on oh my uh, campaignforrealbeauty.com. Um, this is the campaign by Dove, mm -hmm. which yeah. is basically doing you know, everything that we're talking about, trying to transform people's uh, definition of what beauty is. And know. that's the key, I think, is by starting out with the definition yeah. of what beauty is. They have on their website, they have you know, people with freckles, people, big people. Oh, I just, need to look at that website. Yeah, it's a great website. But they're, and they're trying to get people talking about it, you know, saying instead of, does this mean that 81% of American women are, are unattractive? No. No. It means 81% have a skewed definition of what beauty is. And that's what we need to focus on to, to modify. Right. You know, to. Absolutely. So what message or what do you want people to know from watching the show today? I, I think that, I mean, that would be it. I think. I think everyone, every single person is, is truly beautiful and it's, it's just sad when someone doesn't recognize their own beauty. But that's a cliche, so how do you get someone to recognize their own beauty? I mean, that, I, I, I feel like I can't speak for others. I, I know what worked for me, mm -hmm. you know. I've, how you did know, you I've recognize through, your own? I've gone through low self-esteem, you know, and have had all that, but just really just embracing Embracing myself, embracing my flaws, and, and, and first of all, not trying to hide them. Right. Not trying to hide them. Not trying to cover them up. Not trying to. And this, this is in my character as well as my appearance. You know, right. they're mine. These are these are all things that make me who I am. Make you unique too. Yeah. And so it's it's that I think that was the first step. You know, and it's kind of like once you embrace your flaws, it's like your your good good sides or your your positive attributes, whatever, just kind of they're easy to embrace. You know. Yeah. Well, those are a lot easier to embrace <laughs> than the negative attributes, yes. Right. <laughs> People don't, for some reason, want to see all the negative stuff, you know. I mean, like you said, when compliments come, people always want to believe those. So, yeah. thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it. Good Thanks time. for joining us today on Jessica. If you have any questions about Erin, you can email me in the email that will follow. If you also have any comments about beauty, please feel free to email me. And keep in mind, we're, we're all beautiful. You just have to know where to find your beauty within yourself and on the outside. And there has to be some kind of balance between the two. And we're going to actually do another show next week about beauty, so stay tuned for that, okay? Have a good day. Mm -hmm.